Hi, hello. So, I spoke to some of my students about passive voice the other day and I promised them that there will be a second lesson about it. Um, and um, today we're going to have a look at a form of passive that helps us especially when we want to sort of distance ourselves from whatever opinion uh, we are giving and say this is not what I believe, this is a generally wildly held opinion. And uh, because so many of you liked the props the other day and because we are still in the um, passive voice topic, we do have some, some props today. Okay, so the first prop we have, and that's, that's to you, cheers, that's fresh mint in my water today, fresh mint. Why? Well, because mint, okay, um, well, mint is very good for you, but mint benefits, right, proper digestion. Mint benefits proper digestion. And if I said that, it's just my opinion. You know what? This is what I think. Hold that thought. We haven't, we haven't gone through all our special elements today. This is the second part of our lesson. This is peach marmalade. Very special, tiny, uh, sugar-free uh, peach marmalade. And then we have walnuts. And then we have vitamin D. Okay, and you could ask why? Why all this? Well, mint helps your metabolism. Walnuts are the best antioxidants, or are they? And vitamin D um, makes your body absorb calcium. Um, peaches are here because they make you happy, and because marmalade is the best. Um, well, see, these three sentences here are just my opinions, all right? And if I don't really want everybody to think that this is what I believe, I want it to sound a bit stronger or more objective, I could insert, I could insert a structure. And this passive structure is what we will be studying today, okay? So... Um, instead of saying mint benefits proper digestion, I could say mint is said to benefit, okay? Mint is said to benefit. So here I'm going to insert our passive structure. Mint is said and then this will become an infinitive to benefit. Mint is said to benefit. Is say the only verb? No, it isn't. Peach, peach is thought, is thought to be um, a fruit that makes you happy because it's sweet and juicy. And it's got loads of vitamin C, yes. So think, think is another verb that we can use, right? Peach is thought, is thought to be. Okay, what about mint? Okay, instead of saying mint benefits proper digestion, mint is thought. Peach is said, okay? You can swipe them. Why not? Very nice. Very good for you. <laughs> I'm going to eat one at the end of the lesson. Ha ha ha. Okay, walnuts. I said they are the best antioxidants, and you could say, you know what, there are better antioxidants than walnuts. Okay? Fair, fair point. So if I said walnuts are thought to be, that's an alternative. I'm distancing myself from this opinion. I also can use the word believe. So I could say walnuts are believed, can you see it? Believed 
to be the best. Okay? And then, no. Okay? Um, vitamin D, vitamin D here, is known to, is known to help your body. Okay, so this four verbs, this four verbs say, think, know, and believe in our passive structure are going to have the verb to be before. Okay? to be, and then you need to put them in their past participle form, okay? So, say, said, think, thought, know, known, and believe, believed, okay? Um, walnuts are believed to be beneficial because they are antioxidants. Walnuts are believed to be the best antioxidant. Uh -huh. <laughs> now I'm eating walnut. I can't speak. Mint. Now I need something to help my digestion. <laughs> Mint is known to help digestion. Mint is known to help digestion. So here, cheers. And vitamin D vitamin D is believed to be the best source of, um, of uh, calcium assimilation products, okay? So here, uh -huh, uh -huh. Mm? I'm not going to eat my peach marmalade because I'm keeping it for something very, very special, but peaches and marmalade and sweet things and sugars are known to make everybody happy. They certainly make me very happy. Okay, so this is it, okay? This is a, a passive structure with the verb to be plus said, known, thought, and believed. Two. Voila! But this is all very good because mint, vitamin D, walnuts and peaches are good for you today and tomorrow and yesterday. What happens if we want to talk about something in the past? Okay, well here we move to the magical world of the gossips. So, um, my friend Marco uh, was said to have accepted a job offer uh, given to him by companies very big in the sector, very big in the sector. Okay, Marco is believed, thought, said to have accepted. Okay, so if this sentence, this structure, wants to refer to something about the past, instead of saying is believed to and then infinitive, you can say is believed to have and the participle. Okay, very simple. Mint is said to benefit your digestion, but Marco is known to have accepted. Can you see the difference? Mint helps your digestion today and yesterday and it will help you tomorrow. Okay? Um, peaches are believed to make everybody happy because they contain a lot of sugar. But uh, Maria is believed to have said something that made her boyfriend very happy. I wonder what she said. Okay, if you want, if you want these passive structures to reflect the past, the only thing you need to do is take the last verb and instead of putting infinitive, put have with participle. Okay, so permanent situation, walnuts are said 
to be a great source of antioxidants. Walnuts are believed to be, known to be. Okay, but my friend had an accident and had an allergic reaction. Walnuts are said to have caused that reaction. Okay, do you get that? He had a reaction in the past, poor thing, which he shouldn't have. It's a walnut, I can eat them. Um, and the reaction is said to have been caused, okay? Right? Somebody said that the reaction was caused, okay? Do you get that? Do you understand? Walnuts are said to be very good for your health. But you know, that reaction two weeks ago is said to have been caused, okay? Have been caused, that's triple passive, okay? Walnuts are said to have caused that reaction. Walnuts are said to have caused that reaction. I know that it might be a new structure for you. This is why we have a lesson together, okay? So I'm going to drink your health with my mint fresh mint and water, water and fresh mint. <laughs> I wish you an absolutely glorious day. Please let me know if there is anything else you need um, with passive voice. Otherwise, we're moving to something completely different, which is a surprise. So a big hug, a big kiss, and I will talk to you very, very soon. Bye for now.